A fully automated enterprise means you're making back office work invisible. Whatever can be automated should be automated. The first step in this process is identifying what work should be automated. We've used UiPath process mining to help identify opportunities. And in this case, we find there is a bottleneck identified in the loan application process, specifically around requesting and inputting data. For this loan application process, a mortgage officer is often juggling a number of client loan applications at the same time. And when it comes to each client's application, the mortgage officer must collect and process dozens of pieces of documentation. This typically involves emailing back and forth with each client to get their identification, W-2s, bank statements, tax returns, and more. After the client sends it over, the officer must run through a checklist to make sure she has a complete set of supporting documents, then go into the loan origination system and other applications to manually key in information from the client's docs. And then she must confirm that the information they've submitted matches with what's on their loan application, a pretty painstaking, time-consuming task. With so much data entry, it's easy to make mistakes. Not to mention, this time could be better used building relationships and originating more loans, activities that generate more value for the company than moving paperwork around. Let's take a look at how the UiPath automation platform can help us identify tasks like these that are better handled by robots and how to build the automations that actually do the work. As a loan officer, I can use UiPath's automation platform to extract information from supporting loan documents and would spend most of my time working in Action Center to complete human-in-the-loop validation tasks that require my attention. Normally, I can have an unattended robot running the documentation collection process in the background. This is a process that has been built in Studio by my RPA development team and utilizes document understanding and AI fabric to automate extraction of critical information from two of the common supporting documents included in loan packets, an ID document such as a passport, and two years worth of W-2 statements. This process is already running in the background, but for the sake of demonstration, I'll show you what this process looks like in Studio. Inside Studio, this process begins by digitizing the documents that need digitization using the UiPath Document OCR engine. This simply converts an image into text that the robot can work with. After that, we pass this through classification by using the Intelligent Keyword Classifier, which can help distinguish a passport from a W-2 document and apply different methods of extraction based off of each of the different document types. Finally, we perform the extraction on the document itself. In this case, we elect to use a machine learning based method, which is a templateless approach for document extraction. And this uses two custom trained machine learning models hosted inside AI Fabric, one for passports and another for the W-2 documents. After that, we will take the extracted results and push them into Action Center for human review, just in case anything comes up. Let's go take a look at what those tasks look like now inside Action Center. We can see that there are now three tasks waiting for my attention inside Action Center. The first one is a passport that I need to validate. I take a very quick look at the extracted results, and of course I can compare them to the actual document itself. Everything looks okay, so let's go ahead and save and continue. Now the process will resume, and this information will be pushed into data service. Inside data service, I have a custom entity called an applicant entity, which stores some critical information about my loan applications, including the name of the applicant, whether or not the ID has been received, and the total income from the last two years of W-2s. Let's refresh this and make sure that the information we just got from the passport document has made it in. We can see that the ID field has now been added and we also have the underlying extraction file as well in case we need to review anything later. We can now complete the second validation task, which is one of the W-2 documents that has been received with the packet. We can take a look at the information that's been extracted and again, verify that everything here looks okay. It does look good, so I'll go ahead and save and continue. And once again, the workflow will resume and the information will now be pushed into data service as well. Inside data service, let's refresh and make sure this W2 document has now been entered in. We can see that the value is there and the file is there as well. Great, let's finish the final task we have and then we can finish off this particular packet. The final document here is another W2 document in a different format. But again, this is okay because we're using a machine learning based approach, which does not rely on any fixed template to go and extract the information. We can see the information and verify it once again. And because it looks good, I can go ahead and save and continue. 
the workflow will resume one more time to go and process this document and again write the results into data service. Inside data service, let's verify that the final document has made it in. Indeed, we can see all the information for this applicant is now entered in. If we want to review any of the information later, we could of course do that as well by using the extraction file that has been attached to this process. We can see all the information is here and it all looks good. So we can now go ahead and finish off this particular application. Now that we've seen how this automation could work, let's revisit what the loan application process looks like with automation. With process mining, we were able to easily identify the best processes to automate. By teaching robots to process documents with document understanding and with AI Fabric, we were able to hand off the repetitive work that bots can do just as effectively and more accurately than people. As a robot worked, business users were able to handle exceptions that came up through Action Center. And finally, UiPath Data Service stored the information that was extracted so that it could be used later in the loan approval process. As bots take on the repetitive tasks in the loan approval process, it frees loan officers up to spend more time on higher value work and building relationships with their clients.